Our event is at a really exciting time. So nine months ago, we changed strategy to pivot from a low-grade open pit to a high, targeting high-grade undergrounds. So we started drilling really actively and, and the project we focused on was Riverina Underground and that's come up really well. And we're actually in the phase of commencing that project in the first portal cut there will be in May. The exciting thing about that is that transforms us from a 60,000 ounce producer up to a 100,000 ounce producer, which in turn lowers costs, increases free cash flow, and then going forward gives us a huge opportunity to unlock the potential of our belt. The prospectivity of that belt has never really been looked at for high-grade underground, so it's really pivoting that whole exploration strategy to target the high-grade undergrounds. Our tenant package is, it starts about an hour north of Kalgoorlie and it actually goes for 100 kilometres. So it's a huge contiguous tenement package with two of the major regional structures going through that area, one being the Zalika Shear, one being the Ida Fault. Previously, all the exploration has been in open pits. No one's really looked at underground, so it's very, very early days, but it's also very exciting. So we've got over 2 million ounces in resources, and our reserve base is just over 200,000 ounces, but the exciting thing is we just released a 73,000 ounce reserve on Riverina Underground. That's the first underground we're really targeting, and that's coming in at 4.3 grams. So early days, but the next phase drilling, we're looking to extensions down dip and to the south of that. We've come out from a really like exciting nine months of just turning the strategy around, um, building a new team to really focus on the undergrounds. And then the next sort of six to 12 months is gonna be a lot of news flow in that regard. So we look to be starting the portal for the River and Underground in May. We're also fully funded to bring that into production, which will be running at full capacity in 12 months. And we also have enough funds to be able to explore the belt with two diamond drill rigs, which will bring in a lot of exciting news flow. So it's really just getting started on this new strategy. The first taste we've had of it is going from that 60,000 ounce run rate to the 100,000 ounce run rate. The big thing we want to get to is get to another underground, which really puts us on a pathway to 150,000 ounce run rate. And the other exciting thing is it's not just gold potential along this belt, we've also got potential for other metals such as lithium and nickel, which aren't priority, but we'll continue to work them up in the background.